Oh, bonjour. My name's Greg. You're watching How to Play Paintball. Okay, so you can tell that um, I didn't take any French uh, when I was in school, but the reason why the bonjour is there uh, is Drum actually sent over some stuff to do a review for. So um, I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway, so you want to make sure that you watch both of the videos uh, because what I'm going to do is they sent me uh, elbow pads, they sent me knee pads, pants, and a jersey. Uh, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for the um, the jersey and the elbow pads, so uh, be sure to be on the lookout for that of, of when I'm going to be doing that. Rather than having four separate videos, what I'm going to do though is split it into two. So I'm going to do like an upper body and lower body. So I'll do a review of the elbow pads and the jersey, and then a review of the pants and the knee pads all together. Uh, this way, it's not going to be you know just a whole video on knee pads or whatever. Uh, be able to have it be where you can make an informed decision uh, if you were going to be going and, and looking into any of these items. But I am going to be giving away the jersey as well as uh, the elbow pads. Um, so be on the lookout for that as to how you can get entered for that contest. So what we're going to do first, uh, we'll start from the, uh, the bottom up here. So uh, we will start with, let's start with the knee pads. Okay, so the knee pads. So uh, all of the drum stuff uh, for the knee pads and the elbow pads came in their own little bag here. I guess you could technically detach this. Uh, it, it is, it's it's sewn onto it, so you'd have to uh, you know get scissors and, and cut along that that line there. And I think it should hold up. Uh, if not, it's it's just a piece of cardboard, so it's not like it's going to get in the way. You can just flip it out of the way. But if you wanted to keep it in its own little bag. Um, I, I just think it's a cool thing because it has mesh so that way uh, it's going to let it breathe. So if you do use this uh, this bag afterwards, um, you're going to be able to let the, the gear dry out. It's not going to uh, just you know stay super, super wet with, with sweat like most of my gear does. That's just because I sweat a lot. All right, getting into it, all Velcro here. And let's pull these things out. One thing I noticed was uh, how light they were, and also this pattern here. Now, this is gonna be different than the, uh, uh, the Exalt knee pads that I've been using, um, where it has a, a bigger part, um, of, I'm sorry, a thicker part of padding along the bottom of the knee. This is actually, it has pretty much the same padding. There's, there's a thicker part on the side here, so it'd be on the, the side of your knee, on the outside part of your leg. Uh, so, I mean, a lot of times you're sliding kind of on that side anyway, so it makes sense that they would put a thicker portion there. But something that I really like is that it has this opening in the back, so it's just going to let your leg breathe, but also be able to move around. Um, it, it's going to going to let it flex. And another cool thing is that there's actually two different types of material here. So one that flexes a little bit easier and one that's a little bit tougher. Um, it's just cool to see how, they, I'm, I'm guessing just through their research, they had found that, um, sorry if you hear my cat in the background, he's kind of going into crazy cat mode, but uh, they, they must have seen that this kind of a cut, you need to have more stability on the, um, this would be the inside of your leg rather than the outside. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just thought it was it was cool that they incorporated just something, something different. Um, Everything about it is nice and flexible though. So, you know, if you need to have, I don't know, some weird motion where this slides out a little bit more, you're good to go. On the inside, it has a, uh, like a gel tack. So that way it's not gonna slip around. So when I put these on, uh, they, they do feel snug. Uh, they're a little bit tighter than um, my Exalt ones. Uh, but I'm curious to see how that works out. I am gonna be using these this weekend to see how they work. I'm curious to see how this pattern uh, plays out because, I don't know, it just seems kind of sporadic, but I mean, there's obviously a reason behind it um, and uh, I'm, I'm not gonna knock it till I try it. So 
um, yeah, I think these are, are pretty solid knee pads. They, uh, they definitely have a lot of design that went into them. I, I really do like this cut in the back just for range of motion, but also it's going to let your leg breathe a little bit more. Um, and yeah, so, uh, I'm actually going to go and play with them and then I'll give you a, a final, uh, final opinion at the end of the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over the pants. Now, what you're going to notice and what some people are probably thinking already is that they do kind of remind you of the, the HK, um, HK pants with their, their super light pants that they have. Um, I've never personally used the HK ones. I really like how these feel. When I put them on, they're very form-fitting. Um, they are a little bit longer for me. I, I probably just have short legs, <laughs> to be honest. But... Uh, yeah, so these, um, they, they felt really, really nice. I want to go over a couple of the features that I had noticed. So one is that really the only padding is um, in the crotch area, which is pretty important. So there's not a lot of padding, so you're going to want to make sure that you have slide shorts on with these that, that have, a, uh, have padding in there. Something else that I noticed that I, I like, there's, there's, no, um, there's no zipper or anything like that when you open it up. And also this type of Velcro, lasts a, a long time it's 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 a different kind of uh it, it's not like the really really long hooks i guess you can say uh, i can't really describe it without um without you guys actually seeing it um but i don't know if you can see just it, it's just a different type of velcro that it, it lasts for a long time but it also isn't going to be like grabbing everything another cool feature is that they have this little hook here so it latches first and then it clips in. So that way it's gonna be nice and secure. Um, this is still gonna help you with being able to put the pants on uh, when you can open them up like this. Uh, it just allows for that and this, um, yeah, just allows for more space that you can get it over your slide shorts and then uh, hook it on because ultimately you gotta think your slide shorts are adding more to your hips uh, or if you wear like basketball shorts or something like that underneath your pants, you're adding more around you. So you need to have a little bit more freedom to get around that and then you can tighten it up. So another cool thing are the, the zippers. They seem like they have like a, a water resistance to them. You can see how it kind of closes up on its own. Um, and then when you open it up, then you can kind of see like there's like a little plastic uh, or a rubber flap that kind of brings it all together. So it's gonna be harder for, for water to get in there uh, when it's actually all zipped up. Another cool thing is all the venting that's in here. So all this venting across the top of your thigh and uh, a good amount of venting along the back of your leg here. Uh, so that's just going to give you that breathability um, that ultimately you need while you're playing, especially now in the summer, uh, things are super hot. So yeah, it's not, not fun to be uh, running around in the heat like that. Um, so something that I noticed, and honestly the best way I can describe this, this material is almost like board shorts. So you know how board shorts, uh, for all you surfers out there, they have a good give to them, but they're still really durable. That's, that's what this um, flexible uh, section reminds me of, is that they are kind of like board shorts. And then there's a nice um, uh, resistant section on the knees and where there's going to be a lot of abrasion as you're diving in so across the side here you have all of that that tougher material but all along like the the butt and the seat of the pants um they're all super stretchy so that way when you have to get into those weird positions you know if you're playing snake or if you uh i mean really any bunker you might have to get into a weird position to get out of paint um then you're going to be able to do that and not have to worry about your pants ripping uh, of course, they do have your uh, pod, uh, I'm sorry, your, your swab pockets at the bottom of the pants. There is a way to tighten up the pants. It has that same Velcro. Uh, what I'm thinking is once I put cleats on, uh, it's not going to be too long. It might actually be like kind of a perfect length because um, I just tried it on without any shoes when they came in the mail. I was like a you know, a kid at Christmas, I wanted to put them on right away. So, uh, I, I did, uh, so that might be part of the issue in the front part. There's more of that stretchy material all along where your hips are. So that's going to be nice and flexible. Um, and then with the actual loops themselves, something that's cool is that it's all, all the elastic is inside here. So when you go to tighten it, it actually pulls from this middle part and stretches out. So that way it's going to, 
it's still gonna move with you, so it's not gonna be too tight. And also, there's no plastic tabs or metal tabs or anything that you know Velcro has to loop through, uh, and then that's gonna dig into your hip. This all is stretching from this back part right here, which is gonna be usually against your pack anyway. So the, the hip is gonna kind of, uh, I'm sorry, the waist is gonna flex with you as you go. If you guys have ever used those like Dockers, they, they had that before with the, the dress pants that, the, there was a little bit of uh, elastic in the, the waistband that allowed for when you moved that it would move with you. And I remember I used to have a pair and they were super comfy. So this is kind of the same idea where it's gonna, has that, that elasticity to it. You can see that it kind of pulls back when I let go. Um, and then it has that same Velcro and then you just pull it across and put it to wherever it is that you need it to be so, so that you're comfortable. And um, again, it's gonna flex with you so you don't have to worry about the uh, uh, anything digging into your hips because ultimately you just want to be comfortable playing. All right guys, so as with the, uh, the knee pads, I'm gonna take this out and actually uh, test it out and give you at the end of this video, so actually probably right after this cut, but it's gonna be technically a couple days <laughs> before I, I film it, but um, I wanted to give you my opinion after actually using the knee pads and the pants on um, what it is that I thought of them. So far, I think that Drom has come out with some awesome stuff. I, I really like their pants and um, the, the padding and all that. Uh, so yeah, so be on the lookout for uh, the, the giveaway. It's gonna be in the next video uh, for the jersey and the elbow pads, but I'm going to go out, test these out, and I will be right back with my opinion on the pants and the uh, knee pads from Drom. Hey guys, so I wanted to go over real quick um, uh, from the first part of this video. I, I've gotten out to test out the uh, drum pants and the knee pads uh, in person. And I gotta say they're awesome guys. I didn't think that the knee pads were gonna be that much padding, uh, but it ended up actually being a, a really good amount. Uh, I was happy with the uh, the turnout of them. Um, it did seem like they, they might've been kind of compressing a little bit or the fabric was kind of coming away from the, uh, the padding itself after I got done playing, but I mean, they, they fit really well. Um, I was able to slide them on just fine when I had my uh, compression leggings on and um, and all that. So uh, the issues that I had when I first pulled them on was probably just the, the grippy part of the, uh, the knee pad uh, gripping onto my skin when I was trying to slide them on. But uh, so yeah, the knee pads are super comfy. They're real light. I would say if you do have knee problems and you need to make sure that you have that really good support, definitely go with the Exalt ones because they have a lot more padding on them. Uh, but the, uh, the, the Drom ones are gonna be a, a really great option. The pants, I am super happy with. I'm actually wearing them right now. Uh, they, where they have the, uh, the swab pockets, it's actually really comfy. Uh, it's more down and to your knee um, so that that way, I don't know, it just feels like it's, it's in a good spot where it's not gonna come out. It's not getting in the way when you run, things like that. Um, the pants themselves are super light. Uh, the only thing that I could maybe complain about is um, I got the wrong size. <laughs> uh, so the mediums that I have, I'm about a 32 waist and I have to pull everything uh, completely over uh, so that it tightens around my waist. But the good thing is that there's no hard things around around that waistband there. So that that way, when you have your pack on, it's, nothing's digging into your hip or anything like that. So it's actually really comfy. Um, the breathability is really nice. Uh, they're super light and they, they just feel durable. So uh, I, I would highly recommend them. I think that they're they're really good pants. All right, guys, so that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, please put a comment down below if there's a certain company or certain product that you'd like for me to review. I can do my best to try to go ahead and get in contact with that company. Um, if I have to buy it, it might take a little bit, uh, but ultimately, you know, I wanna put some stuff out that you guys enjoy. Are there certain drills that you'd like me to go over? Maybe some certain types of things I know some people have said some snake uh, how to play the snake and uh, you know I can definitely get those in there as well uh, I have a running list guys so I just want to make sure that I'm getting stuff out there that you guys enjoy that are gonna be able to help you out uh, but I hope that these review videos have been good for you uh, that they've been informative like I said, if there's any other videos that you'd like to see, uh, drills or game situation, things like that, I'm more than happy to put stuff out that you guys enjoy. So please be sure to put those comments down below as to uh, what it is that you would like to see because like I said, I do have that running list of, uh, of different videos to go ahead and make. Um, so yeah, I wanna make sure that I'm getting stuff out that you guys enjoy. I'm actually gonna go ahead and jump in, do some drills. This is before the NXL event in Chicago, so I'm trying to get ready for that. Just trying to get some uh, some some field time in, time behind the gun. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go, go jump over, do that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. But as always, remember, 
Watch, learn, win. Thanks.